What's up guys, Don the D605 here and welcome to uh Gang Over it with Bennett Foddy. And this is the latest and greatest game by the developer of Clop. Uh and uh I think Clop and I think also because of the videos that I've seen on um uh, the YouTube, I think this is a video that I should probably do. And peep now before you say anything about this. This game was absurdly requested, and to me, it seemed like why they wanted me to play it. Well, said something about the game mate wanted to be making me mad. Okay. All right, new game. Ready to get over? Come on. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. Oh. Oh god. This control is weird. Oh my god. This feels weird. Like, I've never played this before, but I imagine. Oh god. It, it feels, feels weird. weird. Oh god, it feels so weird. Oh my god. Oh. That's how you pogo, apparently. Hang on. Dang it, dang it. Alright, it's gonna take some time to get used to this. Hang on, this mouse sensei feels weird. How do you, um, press tab? Escape. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you want some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you want an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Oh no. I hate it when he talks about that. Alright. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazzo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than oh! polished products. Oh, aren't they now? Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. No! Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. No, it ain't. This is my first time going, bud. Over that tree. A lot of people never got past it. Never mind. You poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over a game about climbing. The mountains build themselves from that. No, we're not doing that yet. How did I just do that? I have no clue. Don't ask me. But my god. 
You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. All right. <laughs> I haven't even got through it yet. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. You know I just made it a point there. Losing progress or anything yet? It's like just the inconsistency. We're not Oscar. We're in a cauldron, not in a trash can. Oh. No! Oof. Sorry about that. Why would anybody suggest this to anyone other than freaking YouTubers? Okay. Alright. So that's all the time I have for this episode. Maybe come back. Maybe I'll try to play more. Um, that was something. Um, 